This is me, expressing my frustration. My god, it is so crowded. And it's just the first of six different Italian hand gestures that I'm going to be using over the next 14 days while I travel across Italy. What are you doing? But why, you may ask. Well, I'll answer that with a second question. Guess who's coming along with me? My wife! A girl that complains I'm not expressive enough. Gah. This is me when I'm frustrated, but I get it because I tend to bottle my emotions in. She isn't able to know how I'm feeling, she gets upset, I understand. So, my plan is simple. 1. Take Mandy to the most expressive place on earth, Italy. Wow, so expressive! 2. Use these 6 hand gestures throughout the trip. And 3. Have her guess the meaning of each. Hopefully, by the end, I'll be an open book. Well, you know what they say. When in Rome, I'm literally in Rome. Let's go to the first hand gesture. I packed my bags, made my way to the airport, and boarded my flight to Venice. On my way to my seat, I realized something. I forgot to pack snacks, and this was going to be a 10 hour flight. Hopefully the food on this plane is good, because I can already feel my stomach rumbling. Alright, lunch is served, here's what we got. Chicken and rice, salad, bread, cheese, and some sort of cheesecake. I spent the next few minutes eating the meal. You can tell I wasn't the biggest fan by how much slower I was eating it than Mandy. The food was a bit too salty for my taste. What do you think about the food? What does that mean? That's for you to find out. To pass the time, I pulled up some of the in-flight movies. Both of us had never seen The Intern before, so we decided to watch it together. The movie stars Anne Hathaway and Robert De Niro in a lighthearted comedy. What did you think of the movie? I think she's mocking me at this point. You didn't like it, huh? Yeah, how'd you figure? Your reaction. I liked it though. Ma cosa dici? We just landed and we made it to... Venice, Italy! And our first order of business is to make it to the hotel. And get luggage! <laughs> One thing to know about me is that I'm terrible with directions, especially in a foreign country. So, I'm relying on Mandy to figure out the transportation. Where's our hotel? How are we getting there? Are we taking train or the taxi? What are you doing? Stop it. If it sounds like we're both a bit groggy, it's because it's 9 hours behind in the US. Despite this, Mandy eventually figured out that we needed to take their water taxi system to get to our hotel. Can I just say, coming from the US, this was such a mind-blowing experience. Imagine living in a city where you don't need to drive cars and get around by boat instead. And after landing at the dock, dragging our suitcases across cobbled road, and up a flight of stairs, you mean we're on the second floor? We finally made it to our hotel. Very nice. This was much nicer than what I was expecting, but now it's time for bed because I'm exhausted. Good morning. I got out of bed, brushed my teeth, used the bathroom, and got ready to explore the city. Our first stop was Doge's Palace. My question for this place was simple. I've heard of Dogecoin and the Doge Father, aka Elon, but what exactly does Doge mean? So after exploring the amazing architecture and murals in this place, here's what I've gathered. This palace was built for the Doge of Venice, aka the military leader, to show the power and wealth of the Republic of Venice that went on for a hundred years. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that right below this extravagant artwork lies complex hallways full of dungeons where they held prisoners and criminals? Dang. I might not be good with directions, but I sure know how to ask a good question. But what exactly does Doge mean? At this point, I've given Mandy plenty of use cases for the hand gesture. Let's see if she caught on to the meaning. I think I figured out what you mean when you do this symbol. When you do this, it means I have a question. How did you know? Why am I so good at this? Our next activity while in Venice is so iconic that the Venetian in Las Vegas couldn't help but copy it. Mandy's giving you a clue right now, can you guess what it is? It's the famous gondola ride! The views on the boat ride were amazing. We got to see this, this, and this. I couldn't help but notice the romance in the air, so I pointed it out to her. She got the meaning of the hand gesture on her first try, and so the rest of the boat ride she looked super happy. And as the day came to an end, so does our time here in Venice. I'll see you guys in the next city. Yeah. We've 
we've arrived in Florence, Italy, and we're about to go to the Uffizi Gallery. All I know about this place is that it's an art gallery with a lot of priceless works. So let's see what the hype is all about. I could literally feel the history of this place. I recognize a couple paintings like The Birth of Venus and Spring. But there were many others that were new to me. As I continued to admire the art, I started to notice a pretty grim theme to a lot of the works. What are you doing? What? How else would you react in this scenario? I think she was genuinely confused by what I was doing, because after a couple more paintings, she had this to say. Okay, I'm confused. What are you doing when you go like this? Oh, when I do that, I'm trying to ward off danger. Oh, that looks like you're trying to be a punk rocker. Yeah, well, all these paintings are so grim. Buongiorno. Today we are getting a guided tour of Rome, Italy. We are going to be seeing the Vatican and the Colosseum. This is going to be a whole day event, but the problem is I didn't get very good sleep last night. I must have been dreaming about those paintings from Uffizi. So please bear with me if it seems like I'm grouchy today. We met up with our tour group and headed towards the Colosseum. Our guide was super nice and very knowledgeable. Here's a list of stuff he showed us while on the way. The inside of this church, the Pantheon, and the Trevi Fountain. Did you know that the fountain was made from the same material as the Colosseum? We're here at the Trevi Fountain. My god, it is so crowded. Crowded. Clearly, you can tell I was interested in this stuff. But despite this, the exhaustion was already setting in. Everything has been super cool so far, but this is what I think of the walking. I'm just gonna assume you're not that happy right now, so I'll give you some space. At the Colosseum, my attitude was pretty much the same. The sightseeing and tour guide's information was once again fascinating. Like this. Did you know that the Colosseum could seat up to 80,000 people? But none of this was enough to get me out of this terrible headspace I was in. I swear I'm not normally like this, only when I'm tired. My feet hurts, my back hurts, I'm tired. <laughs> Can you try to have a better attitude? How rare is it that we get to go on vacation like this? Mandy was right. I was letting my exhaustion get the better of me and ruining the mood for her too. So, I made it a goal to have a better attitude for the rest of the tour because we still have one more place to visit. We're here at the Vatican! It must have been the reality check for Mandy because I swear everything seems just a little bit more interesting. Did you know that's the goddess of fertility? Did you know this statue has glass eyes? I think it's really awesome that the Pope commissioned artists to draw all of Italy. It's cool. And as the tour came to a conclusion, we made sure to say thank you to our guide for his services. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can't forget that and parted ways from the group. How did you feel about seeing Rome today? I enjoyed seeing everything but your attitude. Que bueno! What's a trip to Italy without eating good food? Here were some of our favorite meals in each city we visited. In Venice, it was this ravioli with octopus and seafood pasta. How's the food? Delicious. <laughs> Question mark? Seems like she caught on quick to this hand gesture. In Florence, it was their pizza and calamari. In Rome, it was their carbonara, gelato, and bread sampler plate. In Capri, it had to be this calamari. Since they are near the coast, they had the freshest seafood. Just look at how much she was enjoying this. So this is the final meal of our trip. This was the most yummy of all. And uh, I just wanted to ask you, what was your favorite memory from this trip? My favorite part of the trip was walking in those rain boots in St. Mark's Square and also entering in Capri and Positano for the first time and seeing how beautiful it was. And of course, getting to know how your brain works a little bit better. I would say I've gotten just a bit more expressive after this trip. I guess you could say I'm an open book now. Well, 
there is one more hand gesture I've got up my sleeves. Well, I have one last gesture for you. Ready? 